welcome to Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen. My name is Ani, and you know, today I'm going to bring you my recipe for the sweet and sour chicken uh, in a sheet pan. So it's going to be sweet and sour pan chicken. And it is baked as well as seared. So we sear it first, I'm going to fry that up real quick, and then we'll throw it into the pan, and then mix all the seasonings and put it in the oven. But let me give you the first part here, okay? We're going to need, because you want to marinate this first. So you're going to need three eggs. You're going to need about four to five tablespoons of cornstarch, depending on how much chicken you've cut up. About two to three chicken breasts, you could do four. Okay, just remember to adjust, you know, with your uh, marinade products, okay, to how many chicken breasts you're going to use. And what we're going to do is cut it up. I'll show you that. You're going to need about a quarter teaspoon of baking soda also. And here's what we do. We've got our chicken cutlet. We're going to press down. And, you know, let me get the other knife. It's better. And in the center, start cutting back and forth as you press down. Okay. See that? That's what you want. And you just slice it through. And that's it. Open it up. And you got yourself two slices of cutlets. Then the long way, you sand her the long way. Okay. And you make your cuts. Slice there. Slice there. And slice these two. Throw it in there. Now, I've already mixed my eggs and cornstarch with the quarter teaspoon of baking soda in here. This, this is a two chicken breasts right here cut up. And this is my third one. Okay. Then just cube them. Throw it in there. Some parts of the cutlets are thicker than others, so keep that in mind when you're cubing them. Okay. Okay, and the last piece. Got a lot of fat right there, so we'll get back to the cat. All right, we are done with cutting. Remember the egg whites, not the entire egg. And in the fridge, it will go until tomorrow. I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. It's the next day. And I have taken out my marinated chicken. And I've been resting it for about half an hour. That's what you want to do. You get out the refrigerator half an hour before you're ready to cook it. Okay, so that's in there. Now it's time to make our mix. I have my bowl here. Now I went ahead and put my sugar and oil in ahead of time. And then I'm, because I'm so used to just doing the recipe. And then I said, oh, wait a minute. I've got to show my subscribers what I'm doing. So I went ahead and, and separated some sugar and some oil just for show. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need one cup of flour. Okay, any kind, all purpose, whatever you want to use. All purpose is fine. Uh, you're going to need half a cup of white granulated sugar. Like I said, I've already put that in. You're going to need a uh, 
quarter cup of oil. I'm using olive oil. You can use canola oil, coconut, whatever kind of oil you desire, okay? So I'll put this back in here. That's actually vegetable oil. I just borrowed it from the pot, the pan, so that, uh, the wok rather, so that I could show you the measurements. You're going to need a uh, half a cup of brown sugar. Okay, put that in there. Um, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder. This is a mix because I mix mine. Okay. You're going to need a pinch of salt. This is an actual pinch of salt. Put that in there. Okay. And then I'm going to swirl this into the cooking oil because I need to get some honey. And I don't want it to stick. So the cooking oil is perfect for it. So you're going to need two tablespoons of honey. So that's one. See how quickly it comes out? Okay. And there's two. Make sure that's closed. So we're done with this. And then you're going to need one quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. And I measured this in a liquid measuring cup and then just put it in here because i only have so many of those right so there's one quarter cup of apple cider vinegar then one quarter cup of white vinegar okay you're going to need four tablespoons of ketchup Okay, so one, two, three, and four. You see how it comes out? Yep. And then, and this is low sodium soy sauce. Okay. Use whatever is comfortable for you and your family in your kitchen. Two tablespoons of that. And with the flour. If you don't want to use flour, you can use cornstarch. But since we've already got it marinated in cornstarch, I felt we didn't need that. Okay, and you're going to come up with a nice sugary batter. Okay. With the consistency of almost a pancake mix, but not as thick. Okay. Like that. Okay. Okay, so I want to cut up your spring onions. Make them as big or as small as you like them. A lot of people don't use the white part of the green onion. I happen to love it. I think it's bold and powerful taste. I find that the darker, the, the sweeter almost that they are. White ones are a bit more pungent. They got a kick. I like that. The mix is actually what I like. The mix of both together. Yeah. Go. All right, and that is that. These 
little sucklers right here, you can actually plant, okay, into the ground. You leave a little bit of the tip facing, just plant this part in uh, about an inch in, and then it'll grow. Then you'll have some, your very own garden of spring onions. So I'm going to mix this up. Okay, get some green and white together. All right, and we're gonna sprinkle some of these, and then we'll save some of these. Then, of course, the topping, you can't do uh, sweet and sour chicken without sesame seeds. So you're gonna need some sesame seed. Uh, use as much or as little as you want. I suggest maybe a quarter cup, and that should be enough, if not an eighth. Just on you, whatever, you know, you would like. So I'll be back and uh, we'll start frying up this chicken. Okay, you want to get your sheet pan. You want to line it up or not. It's on you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and preheat the oven, regular bake, to 325. Let's start. Okay. Be sure I don't have nothing in there. <laughs> You know how that goes. Sometimes I have bread proofing in there and I forget about it. So I'm going to take some oil, a brush, and just, and just brush the sheet pan. Okay. Get that straight. We're going to turn on our oil that's in the wok or frying pan, whatever you're using. Okay. Okay, so you take another cup of flour and you mix it in with the chicken or you can just dredge it in a bowl and then throw it in the fire, however you see fit, okay? Okay, let that fry up. I've got some already done over there. Okay, so once you get them like this, so I can show it to you. Once you get them like this, that's half cooked, put them in the tray. Take them out, put them in the tray, because they have to bake. Okay, this is my last batch. Put that there. We got them all in. We're done frying. So move this out the way. Turn the burner off. 
Now, here into our sweet and sour mix, I put in some spring onions. I also took one orange, okay, this is optional, and I sliced it in half, I squeezed the juice in there, and I also scraped off some of the, the pulp and put it in there. That's gonna be delicious. And a cap full of lemon juice is what I added to this mix. That's optional. Remember, earlier I said you can put orange juice in here, even. Well, I took a regular orange, orange and sliced it up and did it that way. You can do the orange peel if you wanted to. Totally up to you. Get creative. So now that we have our chicken in the pan and our oven is ready, we're going to pour this mixture over this chicken. But I'm going to put a little bit more spring onion because I like a lot of it. So that was about a cup full, I would say, into this mix. And I'll just do this. If you don't like spring onion, top it with something you do like, some parsley maybe even, um, chives, I don't know. Your kitchen, your rule. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna pour it over the chicken. I can't bring the pan here because it's still, the stove is still hot. So I'll just magnify and let you all see it that way. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna pour this over the top of our chicken. Just like so. Just like so. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say we bake it for about half an hour at 325. Because I cooked the chicken a little too long. <laughs> I fried them up real good. I tasted a couple too. I'm not going to lie to you. Delicious. Without the sauce. It's delicious. So I can imagine how it's going to be with the sauce. Delicious. <laughs> All right. Looks like we got a winner, chicken dinner. All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and pop this in the oven. And give it a good 30 minutes. I'm going to serve this with some rice that I already have. In the oven it goes. Alright guys, it's in the oven. So, timer, 30 minutes, and it's off. I'll be back. Okay, so we're ready here. All right, let's take out our dish. Oh my God, this looks so good. That sugar has adhered to the chicken pieces. Look how beautiful that is. Huh? Look at that. So I'm gonna put in some more chives. Over top of this. And some sesame seeds. All 
on it. Look at that. Can you see how good that looks? Does it show? Look at that gooeyness. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I'll bring you the final plate presentation at the end. In the meantime, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe. Smash that button. Go over to the right. There's a little bell. If you tap on it and turn it on, you'll receive notifications every time I upload a new recipe. So don't miss out. Let's get creative and have some fun and taste some good foods moderately. Don't forget, follow your doctor's instructions on your diet. And until next time, you all, God bless you. Take care of yourselves and one another. Bye. Mmm, look at that deliciousness right there. Oh, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Just absolutely gorgeous. So make yourself some yum, yum.